What is up guys? This is Hank Saber giving you guys a post Bosch Infernoid deck profile. And this is a little bit more of a serious deck profile than what I usually give you guys. Most of the stuff I give you guys is very much theory brewed and this is actually a lot more tested. I took this deck to five locals in the span of two weeks. I've had a lot of time to play Yu-Gi-Oh! in my time off uh, from college and so this deck is very much tested. I took it to five tournaments again, three of which were before Bosch, two of which were after Bosch. This is my post-Bosch deck profile. Now I can tell you guys some of the choices I've taken out since Bosch, the Breakers of Shadow format has started. Um, some things I changed since my tournament I went to today. So some of it is theory brewed, but most of it is very much tested. Um, one thing I will say about the deck is that it is a reactive deck. Um, my friend helped me understand how this deck works, even though this is my second year playing the deck. Um, I played it when it came out, and then I picked up Necros and forgot about this deck for a while. But then I started playing it again, and blah, blah, blah. Um, I love it again. So anyway, guys, um, took it to five tournaments. I came in first twice, once before Bosch, once after Bosch. I came in top four once. I uh, In a bigger locals, I came in top eight after going 5-0 and oh in Swiss. Uh, today, I went to a UDS, which is United Duelist Series, which is basically a mini regionals. And it's very much a competitive... It's, almost, it's a bigger locals or a smaller regionals, whatever you guys prefer. Very competitive, though. And everyone there had the best deck, which was Pepe or Mermails. I, round one, defeated two odd Mermails. Round two, two, one, Pepe. Round three, two, uh, uh, two, one, Mermails. Round four, lost one, two to Pepe. Round five, lost one, two to Pepe. Now, this... Like, this deck is still very good. I changed some things that I think would make the deck better than I how I used it, but nonetheless, the deck is very good, and I'll get into the choices. Don't be scared off by the Tierra. It's just in here for sort of like a tech, but that's all I have to say. So after two minutes of random rambling on, let's get into the deck. I play one copy of Anonsu. This card might go to two in the future. I'm not sure yet, but right now it's at one. I really like its effect to negate a spell and trap, especially when sent off Decatron first turn. Sometimes it's your best play sending this off Decatron. I don't want to see multiples of this. I summon... I usually summon Deviati a lot and lost a lot of advantage. So if I didn't win summoning Deviati, I lost. Um, so what that means is if they have an answer to this, you kind of lose. Um, especially with Solemn Strike being a card, I would not play multiples. I would certainly try to bait out their back row before I summon this. Um, for once in my life, I took on the artifacts head on um, and I just special summon this, destroyed all of his back row and they all came back by destroying them anyway after that. But the thing is with this card, you don't want to open multiples of it and so it can really be bad. So um, I played this at two for every tournament I told you guys about and after those tournaments, I am now cutting it down to one. One copy of Inferno and Atondel. This card is very good. However, it doesn't get its effect after setting a Pendulum Monster to face up to the Axe deck does not get its second attack, therefore I only play one. It's not that great, and wastes a lot of resources summoning it. However, it is one of your bigger beaters, so I do play one. Um, so that's it. Like These are your main three. These are the cards that will win you games, but will, won't win, win you them outright. So you have to play other cards. The best Infernoid in the deck is Infernoid Sight to Maz. Infernoid Sight to Maz, when you attack a card at the end of the battle phase, you can banish any card on the field, doesn't target. You can banish their Ignisters, you can banish their Scales. A lot of times I run over a Megalo and I just banished one of their Netibuses. Uh, that's really good. Um, three Petrulia, I played one Permias at one point. I cut it for the third Petrulia just because this is better with uh, Raiden, making Synchro plays for days. And it's just really good, again, for baiting out back row. Play three copies of Infernoid Harmodike. I lost two matches single-handedly to Constellar Diamond today. Don't want to do that again, so I play three Harmodike and three copies of Infernoid Antra. These cards are far superior to the big guys because they bait out their back row, their Solemn Strikes, and everything else. I will say about this format post Bosch, if you guys haven't hands-on gotten to a tournament yourself, you will realize that monsters are the new back row. What I mean by that is Rafflesia is a over... Uh, Rafflesia is definitely overrated. Um, however, it is a still a card, and you have a lot of one-card outs to it. So um, I like my one-card outs. They're very good. 
This is a one card out. Um, you force their infinity to, to detach a material. And of course, diamond, as I mentioned before. They're all uh, self-protective cards. Uh, three copies of Decatron, another one card out to a lot of things. It works as a tuner. One, one game today, I actually just um, normal summon Decatron, special summon Harmodike. Um, oh, send, send uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Petrulia off Decatron, made a level 5, summon Harmodike, level 3, Synchro for Star Spark, flip the vanities, and that was game. Um, so that's it for the Infernoi monsters. A lot of Infernoi monsters, but more big, smaller guys than bigger guys. Uh, which I think is the way to play now because you have to bait out things. Uh, three copies of Raiden, one copy of Electromagnetic Turtle. Magne Magnetic Turtle came up a lot uh, today. It uh, came out a lot in my other tournaments I played. I would never play the deck without this card. I think this card is really good. Uh, a lot of times I just normal summon this and monster gated it. A lot of times I just, uh, you know, instant fusion. It was a great card. This card is, I would almost play it too. This card prevents them from OTK. One tournament last week where I went 5-0 and in Swiss, I played a Cosmo player round 1, and he, I had a set uh, burial from the different dimension. He tried to OTK me with his Cosmo board. I flipped the burial, returned this to my graveyard, as well as returning one of his farm girls to his graveyard, so he couldn't return to Cosmo Town. Um, and then he attacked, I banished this, ended his battle phase, and then I announced him the next turn, and I had game with Instant Fusion. So, uh, 3 Raiden and 1 Electromagnetic Turtle. Uh, 2 copies of Breakthrough Skill. For the traps. Oh, sorry, I kind of messed up there. Um, bring the traps to the side. Uh, three copies of Reasoning first. I think this card's a little bit better than Breakthrough Skill. Uh, reasoning first, uh, Instant Fusions. You have to play three. Two Twin Twisters. Cards saves me the game. Like random things. Abyss Spheres. This kills. Um, two copies of Charge. Saw it a lot on Thursday. Didn't see it at all today. Uh, one Monster Game. Card wins games. Uh, Galaxy Cyclone. I still play it at one. I think it's really good in the graveyard. One One for One and One Burial. Um, Self-explanatory. Uh, I do then again two breakthrough skill. Uh, there's that one vanities and one song warning. Uh, song warning I might cut. Uh, song warning is a card that if you don't warning their whole pendulum summon, you kind of just lose. I mean like it is very good. You can warning a lot of things in this format. You warning Rafflesia. You can warning their pendulum summons. You can warning their infinity uh, or you know their Nova if you want. Um, whatever you want, uh, diamond. But at the end of the day. If they go first, they set up their board first, and you draw this. It's really bad, so um, it's up to you. Anyway, guys, um, on to the side deck. I think the side deck was a lot. Uh, it's more improved now than what I originally played, but we'll get into it nonetheless. Um, I play one copy of Lila. Cards, this card is a counter side card. This card is, say you're playing Mermails, for instance. Um, and it's game two or three, and you know they're siding in Iron Pyro Wall. You side this in against Iron Pyro Wall, so you can search it off charge to pop the wall. You can also hit it off reasoning to pop the wall. So it's an a, it's a Iron Pyro Wall out. Now we have three copies of Cyber Dragon Core. It's for Cosmos. Nothing else but Cosmos. Also Death Spots. I lent my Death Spot deck to my friend Gabe. He went two and three today at uh, a UDS with it, which is not bad for UDS with Death Spots. Um, so Despots will be played by some players, um, and Core is really good. And the same thing, for that's for the Chimera tech, so we do side. Um, and then that leads us into the spells. I play two copies of Void Imagination. This card is a Shadal Fusion. It sends Infernoid monsters from your deck to your graveyard while they control an extra deck monster. Um, and Infernoid Tierra, what it does, if you guys don't know, it requires one Unknown to one Deviati, and or one more Infernoid monsters. And for three or more, each player sends three cards from their extra deck to the graveyard. Five or more, each player sends the top three cards from their deck to the graveyard. Eight or more, each player returns three card, uh, three banished cards to the graveyard. And then ten or more, each player sends their entire gra uh, hand to the graveyard. So like, it requires like different material monsters, but basically right off the bat, you're getting the three, the the five or more effect, which each player sends three card, top three cards to the deck to the graveyard, which is okay. I mean, it's just really, it's just a way to send your cards to the graveyard, uh, if anything. So, um, that's that. Anyway, uh, getting back to the side deck. Sorry, I just shake the camcorder there. Uh, one copy of, that's not my side deck. Okay, here we go. Uh, one copy of Raigeki. Um, so, anyway, like, one copy of Raigeki and two Dark Hole. Um, so, today at the actual event that I played, I actually, um, I did main the two Twin Twisters, sided the extra Twin Twister, and played, um, sided another three MST. Uh, so I, re I replaced two MST and one anti-spell uh, with these. I mean, like I said, Monsters of the New Back Row, Dark Hole Raigeki, very much needed. 
Um, and then again, the one twist, twin, twin twisters, and the extra MST just in case. And then the final two anti spells. So these like are, these are really good. Um, these like I don't know. Uh, Ignister hits it a lot, but I mean if you get it at the right time, it's very good. It can win games. But um, so anyway, there's that. Uh, and then for the extra deck, we play one copy of Tierra. Um, again, I just play it for the sided cards. If you play against Cosmos, this is an easy side out for the Chimera tech. One Chimera tech, I mean, side something else out. Um, two Norden, I've never ran out ever. So two Norden is good, but you need two if you're playing three in Suffusion. One Trish, my favorite card. Um, second favorite card, Omega. Scarlet, this card's really good against Pepe. It just burns them out so much. Um, one Spark, I had this with Vanities today. It won me the game. Uh, one Black Rose, I would have won my round five match. I had Harmadike and Raiden. Activated Raiden's effect, he Ghost Ogred. I had nothing else, um, and I just scooped, so. I would have won because I had um, Black Rose, and then I had Saitsumas, and then I had Atondel. I probably would have won, but um, nonetheless, you have to play the Vanillas, guys. I played one week without the Vanillas, and I very much needed them. Uh, Scrap Archfiend, um, and then High Speed Board Chambara. Uh, you need Chambara because it OTKs. If you have Institution plus Decatron, you grab the Decatron, you Synchro into Chambara, and you most likely OTK. A lot of times, like today, I had a, a Notsu. I wiped his board, and then I Institution and made Chambara. It was an OTK. Um, and then for the um, black cards, I play Jump that Pearl. So Pearl didn't come, this didn't Scrap Archfiend didn't come up, but Pearl did. Uh, Pearl won me a match today. Um, and I had a Mist Dweller, Castell. You kind of still need it, although I would like to cut it. Um, one big guy. I've never ever made that card. And then so interesting play uh, last week, guys. I'll go through the play um, with Alse. So last week. Round one, I was playing against, uh, Pepe wasn't out yet, so I played Magicians. And he, it was in time, it was my final turn in time. And I had nothing to do, he had an Ignister and a Castell, no, he had an Omega and a Castell with no overlay units. I had uh, two Dev Yachtis in hand, I had one Raiden on the field, and, um, like, I'm literally gonna map this out for you guys. So I had one Raiden on the field, in my hand I had two Dev Yachtis, because I played two back then, um, with one copy of Instant Fusion in my hand, and um, I had like four Infernoi monsters in my graveyard. To get over this field, I had to get past Omega, and I had to deal a lot of damage. I didn't think I could do it, but I did. What I did is I first banished the two um, Devyatis in my hand to special summon the Atondel in my graveyard. So I had an Atondel and a Raiden. I believe that's correct. Okay. And then, so I had, he couldn't, he didn't respond to that. So I had one instant fusion in my hand. He still had Omega. And everything was so good, uh, was good up until that point. I instant fusion to grab another ride and put it on the board. So at this point, I had Atondel, um, at, Norden, Raiden, Raiden, Atondel. And then I synchro summoned, I play, I used to play Scrap Dragon actually, but I could just easily Scarlight it instead if I played it at the time. Um, but I had Scrap Dragon instead of Scarlight. So what I did was I summoned, uh, Scrap Dragon. So at this point, I had Scrap Dragon, Raiden, Atondel. I popped Raiden um, to pop one of his back row. He had so he now he just had the Omega and the Castell, and then so now I had Scrap Dragon and Atondel. If you're still with me, I overlaid the Scrap Dragon Atondel for Alse. And so Alse, what it does is you declare a name. If you call it wrong, then you uh, you you mill the card. If you call it wrong, then you detach one and target one card and shuffle it, um, put it on top or bottom of the deck. So what I did is I had no hand at this point because I used my Deviatis, I used my Instant Fusion, um, and he had no uh, no way to use Omega because I had no hand. So I activated, I'll say, I called Deviati because I knew I didn't have any Deviatis left. I actually know the reasoning. I called the card wrong on purpose. Detached Odd Tendel, and I actually had this in attack mode. I shuffled Omega into the uh, extra deck. And so he had one Castell. I, I banished two more monsters, special summon Atondel again. Um, and I attacked the Atondel twice and Alsei once, and that pretty much won me the game. So Alsei is a great card. It puts, it mills one, and it, ba oh, technically excavate, but mills one, and it actually just comes up a lot. It definitely is the best rank eight. So that is why I play that. So anyway, guys. I know it was a mouthful, but I did a lot of testing with this deck, and so I wanted to show you what I did play 
competitively the last few weeks while I was on college break. And again, super, super happy with the deck. If I could go to Atlanta, which I may or may not, I would play this deck. It's such a great deck. Shoutouts to Pierce McNaughton. His video on JRB Jobber's um, site. He taught me uh, the deck profile. Kind of re-inspired re me to play this deck again. Shoutouts to my friend Stevie, Stevie Trong. If you guys don't know, has a deck profile of his Philly top on my channel way back from June or July. But he helped me with this deck a lot. Um, and some other people as well. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is what I'll be playing competitively for the next little while. Although I won't be going to too many events now that college is starting up again. But anyway, guys, for for now, this is what I'm playing. So thank you guys for watching. Post Bosch deck profile. Um, subscribe, like the video, all that uh, nonsense. Anyway, guys, this is Hank Saber signing out. Deuces, guys. Peace.